Can you smell? There we go. I don't smell. You do. Okay, guys. So, welcome back to my channel. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm joined by my boyfriend, Tom. Hi. You haven't been in a sit-down video for a little while. Um, no, I haven't. What was the last one? The cream in the face one, I think. Yes, it was. That was yeah, the yeah. Of, uh... Significantly less mess today because I have asked you guys. I have asked you guys over on Instagram to send us some of your worst, weirdest, juiciest, secret confessions for both Tom and I to react to, obviously anonymously. And I've had a little flick through through. Flick through through. <laughs> I've had a little flick through the very first ones and there were some gems, I'm not gonna lie. Before we get any further into this video, if you guys know you're watching this and you're not subscribed to my channel, please head down below and do so before we get into it. Other than that, let's get started. How so, are we doing this? Am I reading them to you or are we just going to take it in turns? And we just had this exact conversation. Did we? Yes. Okay, so what's the plan? Christ, on a bike, it's like having a child, not having a boyfriend. So do you want me to start so you get a general yeah, Don't have a look, don't have a look. You start. <laughs> I woke up to a phone call from the police because the guy in my bedroom had been reported missing by his girlfriend. I had no idea he was in a relationship. I felt awful. Oh dear. That's, that's how bad awful. is that? That is awful, but it's not your fault. No, way. no, it's not her fault, but how how <laughs> worried would you have to be to report the person missing though? They must have been gone for some time. Yeah, that's not like a one night thing if they just don't turn up. Or maybe it is, I don't know. No, you don't think you can file a missing room. Report, can you? I don't know. How long would it take for you to report me missing? Like, if I didn't text you back, how long would you wait before you report me missing? Um, I think I would give you. I have a twelve hours. Twelve hours. Twelve yeah. hours. Yeah. yeah, I'd be worried, but I'd probably. I don't know if I'd contact the police in that time. I'd definitely go out and try and find you. Where would you look? Where would be the first place you Ooh. think I'd be? Gym bar. <laughs> <laughs> That wouldn't be me gone missing, that'd just be me off on a, off on a bit of a set. I don't know, where would you go? London? <laughs> I'm finding you in London, it's like finding a needle in a hair That's stack, true, so you wouldn't find me if I... King's Cross? Sledding. Sledding? Sledding, yeah. Isn't it sledging? On a hill, and I peed myself, and the whole slope was yellow. That actually is so bad. Confirmation, I was 11. Okay, 11, that's fine. Actually, no, 11. No, 11's not Actually, quite. 11 that's is weird. not okay. You're like 4 or 5, that's okay. That's just weird. <laughs> 11's that's... quite old to wet yourself. <laughs> like, you okay? <laughs> I think that would be, <laughs> that would be so embarrassing. What would your cover up be if you'd gone down the slope and it was all yellow? Would you be like... There's something the, on my ball. Do you want on a sledge? I don't really know, because surely if you're on a sledge, was the sledge, not just... Filled with wee. Eleven is quite embarrassing. You just run away at that point. Because your friends would definitely notice. It's not like if you're five where they might not notice. Okay, here's here's a good one. I saw quite a lot of people saying this on Twitter around the same time actually. I sent my boyfriend a picture of James Charles's bum and he thought it was me somebody's, for weeks. Yeah, somebody who I work with did that. But not, not to me. That I was going to say. Him with yeah, 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 yeah. I think I would know James Charles's bum from somebody else's bum because I feel like I've seen it so much on Twitter that I would know that it was yeah. his. To be fair to him, right? To, in fairness, in his defence, he has a good bum. I genuinely haven't looked at his bum. Do you want to see his bum? Go yeah. on, let's Go get on. it up. Let's crack it out. Like it. <laughs> that is quite a good bum on a lad, though, isn't it? No. Right, I okay, like that. okay, weird. okay. Harry confesses that he is the favourite sibling. That doesn't count. <laughs> That's also a lie, isn't it, really, Harry, to be honest? I once was sick in the sink and knocked my mum's toothbrush in the in the sink. It's disgusting. Oh, that is just disgusting. And she says she's never told anybody that. Why would you not then tell your mum? Why would you not just be like, you need to get a new toothbrush? Well, if you wash it, was well, it's fine, isn't it? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Is it not fine? If you were sick on your toothbrush, would you not just get a new toothbrush? I mean, I would, but I mean, if you were trying to cover it up, you could just wash it. No. No. Would you want to brush your teeth with a toothbrush that I'd been sick on? It's been washed and it's been cleaned. Isn't As it? if you would. You're the kind of person that won't even share a biscuit with me because my spit's been on it. No, but you. No, that's different. No, it's <laughs> no. It's, so you'd rather eat my sick? No, 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 no. It wasn't that you'd slathered on a biscuit? It was that you put the full biscuit in your mouth, took it out of your mouth, and then give me the biscuit. That's just weird. <laughs> no, it's not. Yes, it is. Right. If you're in a relationship, comment down below. If your significant other had put a biscuit fully in their mouth, which is what I did just to prove that I could do it. Fully we, in their mouth and right. then the biscuit out. Because somebody said, I bet you can't fit a whole chocolate digestive in your mouth. And I went, I could definitely do that. And I did it and I didn't want to eat it. So I went, do you want to eat this after I'd done after it? After it was covered in slaver, that's weird. <laughs> slaver? Slaver. 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 But slaver. Tom said no. And I think that's weird because if you've that's already- That's not weird. It is. 
it was drenched with your But you soul kissed armor. me, so what's the difference? It was weird. Would no. you do it? If your boyfriend or girlfriend had put a whole biscuit in their mouth, would you then eat the biscuit? Comment no. it down below. Who, are you too tired? That's just weird. Too weird. That is weird. I don't think it's that yes, weird. It is. I well, really you couldn't do it at the moment because of coronavirus. Well, yeah, but that's that, can I? Yeah, you can, can say, say that. that? Yeah. Going back to the original point, <laughs> would you brush your teeth with a toothbrush that I'd been sick on. No. No. But, well, if I knew about it, but I mean, if I was covering it up, you could clean it and there would have been never... Oh, I think you'd still be able to taste it. Sick doesn't go away. But you should just say, well, you're not going to be that bothered Yeah, to that is true, that is true. I moved into my uni accommodation a couple of days ago and I think I've met the love of my life. The only problem is he's just come out of a five-year relationship with his high school sweetheart who also happens to be my childhood best friend. I think you just don't go there. Ooh. Also, the chances of you being in your uni accommodation with him are like slim to none. That's quite impressive. So maybe it's a sign. Well, if you've got that connection. Yeah, but he's been with her best friend for five years. Oh, um, I mean, you've got to prepare to end that friendship. Yeah, to be fair, if you're no longer friends with that person. Oh, I don't know. You can't help who you love, though. Well, there's no. The, she's not saying that he loves her back. She said she really fancies him. I think she just needs to nip that in the bud. Yeah, it's probably not a good idea. To yeah, go there. I think not. also you've gone to uni. The chances are you're going to meet lots more people, not just somebody that's connected to your childhood. Like meet somebody new. Yeah, that's just going to cause a lot of problems. Do, 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 Hey, completely. I thought they were the completely same. different person. I thought that was the same name. Okay. <laughs> Tom reading these gonna... out is funnier than the confession itself. I didn't realise that was. <laughs> they're, they're, they're all laid out wrong. I wrote my friend's dissertation for her civil engineering degree. I have zero qualifications, and she has a first. So really, you have a first. That's annoying. But There's nothing you can do about that. Is there? You shouldn't have wrote it in the first place. To be fair, your friend shouldn't have taken a degree that she couldn't write the dissertation in. Because imagine her now getting a job and she's got no idea about civil engineering. Why did that person not get a qual not get a qualification? Because they did it to help them out. Oh, so they didn't do They it. weren't on the course. Oh, right, I thought they'd like failed. Oh, right. That's so frustrating though, because I would be like, that's my first. Also, how do you just randomly have that much knowledge about civil engineering? I don't even know what that is. Do you know what that is? <laughs> no. <laughs> do you ever think we're just actually really stupid? Well, if you're, if you're not doing that thing, why would you know? Yeah, that's what I mean. Engineering why of know? some kind, I'm guessing. Mm. <laughs> what are you doing? Alright, I feel like this is quite a common one. I couldn't find my tent at Leeds first, so I just flirted with some guy so that I had somewhere to sleep. Common one? What, have you been there? No, I haven't All ever right. been there, but I can see I don't think you'd be the only person that's done that at a festival. No. Also, it's quite a good idea, because you don't want to just sleep outside. You might get, like, stabbed or worse. Yeah, good call. Yeah. Yeah. As long as that person didn't then like drug you or True. Yeah. stab you. You live to tell the tale, then it's gotta be a good thing. Yeah, and it's quite funny. It's a good story. And it is good for like later games of Never Have I Ever. You can always use that card. Never have I ever slept with a guy to have a tent. She never said sleep with. To be fair, she didn't. Woof me ow. I have a bad habit of making out with my friends' family members. How? It's a bit weird. How do you even how do you get that habit? So that's not even a habit, that's like <laughs> something really strange. What, so you don't have to be attracted to them, you just because they're a friend. Because they're, because they're a friend's family member, it's like okay. And are you talking like your friend's brothers or your friend's dad? So your friend's uncles or cousins, mm. like how, like what what age? If it's their brothers, I feel like that's a bit more normal. Yeah, that would make sense. Or sisters. Or sisters, yeah. Um, Mum or dad. It's a bit weird. Quite a lot yeah. weird actually. Or cousins, that's even weirder. No, cousins might be their age. I feel like cousins is actually better than siblings. Cousins is. Cousins. Yeah, but I feel like it's better than siblings. No, but to if it's siblings. for the sole purpose of just, being with just friends' family, which because it sounds it's like, like a it weird is. fetish. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a bit odd. strange. Yeah. Right, okay. I once went home with a boy, but left halfway through the night to go to my ex's house, and neither of them knew I was with the other that night. I mean, it makes sense not to tell them, because that would be weird. Uh, no, that's not the focus point of that. The, like, the, you, are, you are going to go into your ex's and be like, I've just been sleeping with a bit of a guy. No, but also, why I'm is... with the first one, find out. Why is that the focus of that? Like, oh, good for not telling her. <laughs> she can do what she wants. Well, true, she can do what she wants. And a fair play to you as well. I feel like that's quite a lot of effort. Like two people in one night is a lot of effort and I feel like, yeah. Would the second guy not suspect something a bit dodgy? Yeah, like why would you be turning up at three or four in the morning? Yeah, it's a bit weird. I guess it depends though, like if you're a student, maybe that's more normal. Like if you live in like student accommodation, I feel like that kind of stuff happens all the time. Live your life, you know? Snuck out the house at 4am to go for a drive with a boy. 
I don't think that's that that's bad. Cool. I think it's. I think that's kind of fun. It sounds like something that would happen in a like teenage rom com film. I mean, Do you want to go for a drive at four am? I mean, I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered for that, that either. Just, I literally can't yeah, be asked. Yeah, it's just a lot of effort. But I mean, if you really like the boy, you yeah. know the boy. Maybe she didn't know the boy. Just a random guy outside a house. Like, oh, yeah. taxi. This is bad. This is so bad. Once spewed on a guy whilst having sex, it really wasn't pretty. Oh dear. That is literally my oh, worst nightmare. I've never thought of that, but I bet that does happen. Yeah, I bet it like does. after a night out. Yeah, like, if you're really drunk. Yeah. I'm never sick ever, ever, ever. So That's like in disgusting. any situation, that would be my worst nightmare. I wonder how he reacted. Was he like, oh, it's fine? <laughs> Some people probably like that. She must have to made it up to him. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and how would she have done that? I just think that whole situation, all you would want to do after that would be like go home, wouldn't it? You Maybe just not. want to be like, oh, I'm so sorry, I need to leave. <laughs> oh, where would you even start about cleaning that if it's on your body? Oh, oh. In the shower, straight in the shower. Oh. No. You like sick, don't you? I hate, I hate sick. And I'm really quite full and I'm thinking about sick is making my food like come up my stomach a bit. You're so weird. Uh, no. Nobody else does that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think I love Tom Brown. That's what it says here. Oh, right. Okay. That's probably his best mate. Mm -hmm. Cool. Me too. A competition. Yeah, well, yeah, I know. At least you confessed. Well, I think you might need to tell his girlfriend. I'm pregnant and no one at uni knows yet. I feel like... you don't show because they might make fat jokes. <laughs> right. There's so many issues with that. Let's hope you don't show you are going to show. Yeah, but then she's not going to tell them. That's true. She's going to start getting like a belly on that... them and they're like, whoa, <laughs> you've put a bit away. To be fair though, it's coming up to winter. You could probably hide it a lot longer. What, and all the way through to... I mean, she just got pregnant. That's going to be like, well, we all know. September. That's going to be like next June. No. Are you kidding? Nine months. October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June. True. But usually Why you don't you know... so shocked? <laughs> I can't do the maths. You usually don't know until you're like one to two months pregnant. I mean, I guess she'd probably be finished by like April, May. Yeah, you could go home she and not have it during term just time. about pull it off if she wears a big jacket. For the yeah. rest of the year. <laughs> but also, I feel like if you if you are going ahead and having the baby, you're gonna have to tell people anyway. Because what you're gonna do next term when you turn up with a child? It could be our last term. Could be actually. Yeah. Let's hope it is. Also, it might be all be online. Problem. Nobody would even need to say from above the, the waist. I think it's fine that you're pregnant. Just tell people. Yeah. How much to go tell? Woo! You alright? No, I'm not to be honest. Um. Freak. Okay, this is a sad one. This isn't really a confession. This just makes me sad that you feel like this is a confession because I don't think it is. I'm 16 and haven't had my first kiss. This isn't really a confession. I feel like most 16 year olds are maybe in that situation. I think that's fine. Yeah, I don't think that's strange at all. But then I also think maybe now because I'm older than 16, 16 sounds quite young. But I know at 16 I was very like, oh, I don't want to be like the last one out of my friends. Just have a game of like Ring of Fire with your mates and then you've just got to kiss everyone. They can't, be playing, they can't be playing Ring of Fire at 16. You can if you're having a meal with a family <laughs> member, with, with, an, with an adult. <laughs> you can drink at 16, of course. Yes, uh, yes, going out for a meal. I will leave the link to drinkaware.co.uk below. <laughs> I don't yeah. think you play Ring of Fire if you're out for a meal, thinking you that's could. a drinking game. No, but you could have a... You could just fast. spin the bottle. No. Also, uh, you can't be kissing strangers in Covid times. No, not yet. So, this you could have to wait. This is pre or after Covid, by the way. After, when, is, when is after Well, COVID I mean, it would A year. Eight years. Eight years. You've got to wait it out now. Yeah, so you're going to actually be 24 by the time you <laughs> have your first kiss, but it's fine. No, this is the last one. You said the last one was the last one. Is this one the last one? Is last it, one the last one? This is the last one. This is the last one. Yeah. Right. I slept with my ex best friend's twin brother, knowing he had a girlfriend, and I feel really bad about it. Yeah, you probably should. Yeah, I feel like you maybe should feel bad about that. This is not a release from this. You cannot, you cannot put this on here and then be like, oh, it's fine now. I've told someone. Yeah, well, no. Oh. Maybe she just needs to get it off her chest, though. Well, you should feel bad. Right, okay. You're making her feel worse. Sorry. Okay. Why are you holding the phone as if that's going to help her? All right, maybe she needs help. Yeah, she maybe does. I think if it's like a revenge thing, if you're getting back at your friend. If he cheated on you. Where did I misread that? No, she was the person he was cheating on his girlfriend with. She was the person he was cheating on. Basically, her ex-best friend yeah. had... Yeah. Oh, uh, but then he did that as well. Yeah, oh yeah, it takes two oh, to no, tango. Sorry, I, I will rephrase my answer. Um, your answer? I mean, that's not necessarily your fault, actually, is it? Well, it takes, two. it takes two. It does it take two. two. It's, it's his fault, really. She didn't do anything wrong, did she? she yeah, she still knew he had a girlfriend. Yeah, but I think he was she the did. one who went ahead with it. I think he is more, it's like 60% him, 40% her. It is still bad on her. If you don't know that the other person has a significant other, then that's not on you. They should have told you and that is them. But if you know, don't. Just what, what are you doing, really? Like, there's no need to cheat ever. Ever, is there? No. <laughs> no, there isn't. <gasps> Do you ever just think that actually we're really, really weird? Think. 
Do you think we're really weird? Think. Yeah. Do I think? Yeah. Or do I know? Do you know we're really yes. weird? Yeah. Do you think people that are watching just think that we're really old or do you think there's other yeah. couples no, out there no, that no. are like us? I'd say most couples are weird. Do you think? In their own comfort. Comment down below if you're watching this. Oh, yeah. they are. Comment, <laughs> <laughs> comment down below if you're watching this think that we're really odd. Or are you like this? Are you like us? Do you see yourself in me and Tom? Or your relationship Basically, with are you a freak? Are you weird? Or are you normal? Like, I don't know. You're looking normal, you're just a bit... Just a bit boring. But do you not think maybe we're a bit boring? I'm not really too sure where we sit. Like, I can't tell if we're just really odd. Yeah, probably actually. Yeah. Right, on that note, thank you so much for sending in your confessions. Do you know filming with Tom is really hard because you sit up straight. This this would be the height difference if we filmed and Tom wasn't slouched and I wasn't sat a little bit further forward. You look tired. I know, because <laughs> all video you've been, right, go back to how you were sat and I've been sat like that so that we look the same height anyway right we're gonna end this video here <laughs> i hope you have enjoyed it if you have give it a huge thumbs up and if you want to see a part two where we react to either more confessions or confessions about each other then we have to get to 200,000 sub subscribers I, are you joking no all right the deal okay so Maybe tell not. your friends tell your mum and dad that is a good point if you've got any your friends cousins. yeah if you've got any friends or cousins that but you think would like my channel don't let that girl know your family members <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, you might kiss them. <laughs> yeah, right, okay, on that note, we are going to go. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below for a part two and let us know if you're weird in the comments. We shall be back on my channel very, very soon. I shall be back on Thursday with another video and I shall see you all then. Bye. Bye.